Hello. Now we'll try to understand what is an even function, what is an odd function. Okay. Now, to give you some basics about even and odd, even function is a function which is symmetric about y-axis. So, let me draw here what am I trying to say. Let's say we have a graph like this where, let's take an example of a parabola. Correct. Parabola is an even function, the basic parent function. So, I'll show you what I mean by even function. Let's say this is my parabola, y equals to x square. Correct. Now, here what we see is this line, y-axis, is acts like a mirror for this function. And they, we have a point here whose mirror image is on the other side of it, right? So, if a curve is symmetric about y-axis, we say it has a line of symmetry, and uh, that line of symmetry is y-axis, which means x equals to 0, and that function is even function. Another definition of this is a graphical way of finding out whether the function is even or odd. So what we check is these two points should be equidistant. Okay, So the y values, right? Now, the second way of looking into it is like this. Let's say this value is 2, right? So what is f of 2? We say f of 2 is 4. So we say f of 2 equals to 4, right? Now, let's say this is minus 2. Now, what is f of minus 2? f of minus 2 is also 4. Do you see that? Square, right? If you square them, it becomes positive. So what we are trying to say is that f of minus x is same of f of x. You can try with all other numbers, right? So even functions are those functions where f of x, I should have written f of minus x, f of minus x is equal to f of x. So, so negative and positive values of x give the same value of f of x the y values. Correct? So that's an even function. On the other hand, let me take a cubic function as an example for the odd function. Okay? So we have a cubic function here, y equals to x cubed. Let me draw it like this here. Now this function is x cubed function, right? Now here you'll find that we'll have every point, like if I draw a line through the center, then we'll have point which is symmetric about the origin. So we have a point symmetry here. So if we have point symmetry and the points are symmetric about origin, so you can find all points. So if you draw a line, it will be symmetric. So, so what happens here is you'll notice that f of minus x is actually equals to minus of fx. For example, if I find f of 2 will be 2 cubed, which is 8, right? So what is f of minus 2? It is minus 8. So it is minus of fx. 8 is f of 2, right? I can write this as minus of f of 2, right? So f of minus x is equals to minus of fx, correct? This is what is an odd function. Well, there are very few functions which could be even or odd. Most of the functions are neither, right? They are not even nor they are odd, correct? Well, now let's try to analyze the functions given to us here and check whether they are even or odd. One way, we can always graph them and figure it out. Second is we can do it algebraically. Algebraically, easy calculations, let's do that first. For example, f of x is equal to x square minus 4. We want to find out whether it's even or odd. What do you think? It looks like even, right? Because this is even degree, this is also even degree. So from inspection, it looks like even. So let's calculate and see whether f of minus x is equal to fx or not. So let's replace all the x with minus x. So if I do so, I get minus x whole square minus 4, correct? Now, you know, minus x whole square is positive, right? So we get x square minus 4, which is same as f of x, right? So, so we say, since f of minus x is equal to f of x, the function is even, right? So we got it even. Now, Graphically, how could you see this? Graphically, let's draw a graph of this function, correct? Now, x squared minus 4, that means the graph goes downwards, correct? 4 units down, correct? So it goes something like this, where this is minus 4, right? But you'll find this point is same distance away, and if you draw any other line here, we'll have even symmetry. As if y-axis 
is acting like a mirror and you see one half exactly on the other half as its image right so that's an even function and that's how it should look when graphed now let's go test this out what do you think this is even a rod it seems they are odd degrees it seems to be an odd function well inspection may not always be right so let's calculate g of minus x is how much so minus x cube minus 3 of minus x plus 2 now here minus x cube cube returns me minus x cube right minus cube is minus minus and minus makes this plus so we got 3x and plus 2 correct so what I will do is I'll take minus common and see what remains x cube well x cube is same as this right it looks like gx that means minus outside minus of gx how about this so minus taken out the sign will change yes so this is minus 3x perfect this also matches so till now it's fine how about this this becomes minus 2 but here we have plus 2 so it's not equal to minus of gx right because of this difference do you see that that is why it is not an odd function now here let me remind you one thing why this see this degree is odd 3 this degree is odd 1 how about this degree strictly speaking this is even because I could write this as x to the power of 0 so that is a kind of infection in inspection which you should do right 0 is even not odd and that makes it neither because it is a combination it's not just even and odd right so it's none of them well, let's move on to the next one. That's more interesting. This looks perfectly even. The degrees are even, right? There's nothing zero about <laughs> or odd about it, right? So, but let's calculate. F of minus x equals to minus of x. We are replacing all x with minus x, right? Plus whole square. Now here, what we can do is, let me use square brackets once again. Take minus common why do I use square brackets because I don't want to confuse you with two similar brackets right take minus common you're left with x plus 4 here right whole square now you know what is square of a negative number negative square is positive so we are left with we'll open the bracket now x plus 4 whole square is it f of x x is there but we have a wrong sign oh my god we got plus not minus right just as we got minus here not plus right so that makes us neither it is neither odd nor even so so this is also neither right neither now how do you get to, to know or see it on a graph so it's none of those even or odd functions. X minus 4 is what really? X minus 4 whole square means X square is moved 4 units to the right. So we have a graph here which moves 4 units to the right. Like this. Correct? Where well, this point is what? This point is 4. Is it symmetric to Y axis? No, it is not. So if your function translates horizontally, it loses the even symmetry. Right? But if it translates up and down, as we saw here, even symmetry is maintained. Do you understand? So these are a few things to learn from here. So first thing is you can graph and figure out whether it's even or not or odd or not. Odd means symmetric about a point and that point is the origin. Even means symmetric about an, a line and that axis is y axis. Here are some practice problems for you. So you can have many problems from your book but I thought I'll give you some from here also. Have a good look at them. It says h of x is x square minus 1 minus x minus 1 whole square. So your first problem, then sin x minus x cube. And p of x is x cube times x square minus 1. Okay. Now try to see if these are even or odd. Now here let me tell you sine of minus x. Some students may not know. But you should know that sine of minus x is equals to minus of sin x okay because sine is minus x is like this right sine is positive here and here but it's negative here when we are saying sine of minus x that means we are expecting something here which is actually negative of this place sine of x correct 
So you may use that here. Other things I think you understand. Those who haven't done trigonometry so far should uh, assume that sine of minus x is minus of sine x and then attempt the problem. Okay? Try to understand these things and if you have any doubts, do let me know. You can put your comments and then I'll be happy to solve them. Thank